Uh, hey guys, welcome to Freezer Bound Outdoors. It is Fun Day Father Friday. So, Joe and I wanted to shoot this video. Uh, we got the rendezvous coming up for the YouTube creators. Uh, May 21st, 22nd. Uh, we have camping available. Joe's trying to get good service here. But as you can see, we got plenty of room for people to put tents. And the wind's bad, so I hope you guys can hear me. If I face towards the sun. So, so we are going to show you guys a little bit here. We got the fire pit here. As you guys can see, the whole back area here at the pond. Uh, we do have a kid zone, which we will get to in a second. But I got the camper moved. So we got the pavilion here, which will should be rock. Uh, we're going to get rock dumped in. And we'll have tables and a cabinet in here for food. And that's where we'll put all the coolers, the beverages, the snacks. Uh, if anybody could bring a, uh, a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot, that'd be pretty decent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have 4G going in and out here, but it's very hard to upload. Uh, ladies, if... You guys show up. We do have a Porta John that is camouflaged, as you can see it right there. So, um, and if anyone needs to, they can obviously use, use our house. But uh, there's the layout. We're going to get into some things out here and show you how much fun this is going to be. We're going to have any of the horses. All right, guys, we're up here in the woods which we're just on the side of the pond field, as you can see. But I just wanted to show you guys, we got a nice little carved bear bench here. Little interview area for the YouTube creators to show up. We have some interviews. We have the hammock. Somebody was talking about the hammock last night on our live. Yes, we have plenty of trees for hammocks. It is very comfortable. We have the kids bushcrafting fort which I'm gonna make them sleep in this summer we got some giant tires we got a rope course that my youngest fellow broke his arm two years ago so the wife wants me to take it down and we have the giant pine tree with a mini rock climbing wall a ramp a swing and once Joe gets done with this strap here we will show you guys the zip line i don't know if you guys can see the wire up here i can't see it okay so you see the chain there it's tied off and it runs down to that tree straight ahead the uh, hot tub cover the, the gray thing on the right that's what we use when we put the uh, running ronda up on the zip line for our archery shoots and you have to shoot at her when she goes past that so that's why there's a hot tub cover propped up against a tree but i'm going to uh get a big stick and get this rope i do not have the seat out here we have a seat that connects to it i'm just going to try to hang on to the rope i think because that's a good idea it's fun day friday right right joe fun day friday so you get up in this short tree stand and we'll have a a little step to that you put your feet on and then you can zip line right down we have a bigger zip line but we have not found the right anchor point to go across the pond yet but it'll eventually happen so stay tuned guys so here's adam he's up on uh up on the ladder stand he's gonna go down the zip line so nor normally we have a <coughs> We have something on here where you put your feet on. We don't have that today. And uh, we're just gonna make sure it's safe. If I fall, it should only be about 10 feet. It shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> um, we will put my, my email address will be at the end of this video, guys. So make sure if you're interested in coming to the YouTube Creator Rendezvous, make sure you, the link right below my feet right now, make sure you get the email that's right below my feet. Uh, send out, send an email. We're gonna have a group chat with it, and uh, 
try to plan things out as far as you know some of the food options stuff like that and get an idea of how many people are coming uh, like I said there's plenty of room for tents and campers and stuff like that so I, I just want to have an idea so that we know um, so we're gonna take a walk back here we'll see uh, this is zip line goes all the way down through here see the cable up here anchors right to this tree Yeah, buddy. Oh, boy. I, I don't know about the grip strength here. <clears throat> so, that'll be a little, oh, that'll be a little more fun for the kids because we'll have a seat on it and they can stand on it or sit on it and go down. So, this is the zip line in the kids area. Um, like I said, the rope course, there's some four-wheeler paths uh, that you can walk out and check out the field. There's always deer in the field at night. And uh, we'll get back to you here when we come up with the next part of the video down at the pond. All right, guys, we're just uh, kind of zipping around the pond on the side-by-side -side now. We're heading over towards the food plot thinking about having a few targets out here you know, eight or ten targets you know, kind of mix them up through the pine trees down a couple trails maybe out around the pond out here through this food plot area on the left Okay guys, we're down at the pond now. Uh, we parked right here. The guy that owned the place before me had this blocked off. If you guys can see the overflow pipe, uh, my goal is to have it about halfway up to the overflow pipe by the time the rendezvous happens. We have our ram pump. It's pumping water in about a gallon every four minutes. So we're on the back berm of the pond now. Looks like it might be a little better than a gallon every four minutes right now. Yeah, I, I think it did pick up. And we're going to add, we'll have another video coming out soon with the ram pump. Uh, we're going to put a bicycle tube in it and try it out. But good fishing over here in the corner by Sasquatch. As you guys can see, here's the uh, pond road coming in. You can also access it from our house. If you pull back past our house, there's a road that goes to it as well. My next door neighbor has turkeys and chickens up there. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, so we're getting out to the dock here. We're gonna set the camera up and me and Joe are gonna test out these remote control boats that he got our kids for Christmas or their birthdays? Uh, Christmas. Birthdays. Birthdays. So we got the baby lobsters they each got one so i don't know if the controls are, will interfere with each other but we're gonna try it and we have a metal frog but here's the diving board just stand on the back of that so i don't go flying in uh, i've never wanted a diving board break to break so badly <laughs> So, here's the view from up here. Uh, you can jump in. Right now it's a little low, so you got to jump out far. But uh, we're going to have some boat racing, so stay tuned. <laughs> so, here's our baby lobster boats, and they don't interfere with each other. Joe just sending donuts here. Oh! Joe just got a BUI. <laughs>
Boy, the, the kids are going to be so mad when we run the batteries out of these. We can come out here and troll for bluegill. We're going to fish with these, I think, guys. Just let her set out there. Pull on a... Pulling a nice mealworm or a maggot or something. That's not a bad idea, huh, Joe? No. Put a sinker on it. Jig a little bit. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. Ooh, reverse leaves a lot to be designed. Yeah, you don't want to have to go in reverse, guys. So, the pond right here, guys, currently is probably, I would say, eight feet in front of us. Now, if you go over here towards Mr. Crocodile, if you guys can see him on the bank over there. Sorry, it's super bright. There's Mr. Crocodile. That's one of our 3D targets for our archery course. Uh, you get over towards the back corner here, you're looking at 10 feet right now. And same with the other side. Over here. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, lots of swimming. Let me show you guys one more thing before we go to the next part. And there's a wire in here. And Joe and I were doing a little shed hunting on, on, underwater here. Oh. It's been five months since I put my buck in here. And it was completely covered in fur. And it is completely clean other than the mud. Wow. So from now on, uh, if I shoot another small buck like this one, then we'll probably throw her in the pond. Huh. But I am super impressed. It is completely cleaned. And like I said, it's just been sitting out here for, I don't know, I probably put it in in November before the ice froze. Yeah. And, uh. Maybe we should bring mine over. And throw it in for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And then we probably just spray them off with the hose. Mine's skin. Yeah, yours is already skin, so. But, so, that's pretty cool. We might have to make a video uh, making fun of all the shed hunters, and uh, I'll come up out of the water holding it or something. Yeah, but, that's a good-looking uh, shed. That's a good-looking shed. Can't wait to see what he looks like next year. <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're going to play with the boats a little bit. Jo Joe's is floating away. and that's uh, Oh, that's mine. Yeah, mine's docked. Jo Joe docked his boat. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to see what else we can get into today before we have to go do some plumbing and get the kids off the bus. So make sure you guys email me if you're interested in coming. Uh, I know a lot of the channels I just added on YouTube are from PA area, so... You guys can come on just Saturday if you just want to take a day drive and, uh, you know, we'll uh, make sure it's fun. We're going to do some showcases on channels. Uh, Geo Bushcraft's bringing a, an old 32 ball and cap gun. And uh, we'll have a little trapping going on and uh, maybe a little fishing derby for the kids and whatnot. So we're going to get the pond up higher for you guys so we can jump off the diving board. And uh, we will uh, get back to you when we're done racing boats. Let's see what the range is. We're going to test the range out here. I'm going to throw my deer skull back in with it. And there goes the deer skull back in the water. We're probably going to get stuck here shortly, and we're going to have to go get out the boat and throw out the gun. Well over halfway across now. As you can see, we always dress for success. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, they're not the fastest, but he's almost the whole way across the pond. He's in the shallows now. All right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, 
like I said, we, we want this to be a big hit. It's our first uh, YouTube creator rendezvous. So make sure you email me if you're interested, even if you're just coming up for the day. Uh, I'm off Thursday and Friday. So uh, I know Gio and Boxy talked about coming up Friday. So we will... Uh, we will get some things together on an email list and make sure you hit that subscribe button for us too. And we're going to do some boat fishing tonight, maybe. maybe. It's supposed to have a big storm come in, so hopefully we get tons of rain. My, my boat is slowly floating away. But Joe just made it the whole way across the pond and back, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, we'll see what we get into next here. All right, we got done playing with the boat, and here's Mr. Sasquatch with his giant hands and feet. Yeah, for, for size reference. He is taller than Joe. I'm six foot. So, he's six too. So just to let everybody know that a couple days ago there was a sighting of a Sasquatch about two miles from here. And uh, every once in a while we we try doing the calls and stuff. <laughs> What's the call sound like, Adam? <laughs> I was hoping you'd do it. <laughs> oh that's a that's a Wookie. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, Weatherman Joe here, reporting to you from Highland Township, Clarion County, Pennsylvania. It's a nice, dry, partly sunny, 63 degrees. We have a row of Strato Nimbus clouds behind us, uh, predicting rain coming this way from an easterly direction. Probably a, I'd say, 50% chance of rain. However, 100% chance of bush light. Delicious. All right, guys, this is the last stop on uh, Fun Day Friday for this video. So, like I said, make sure you check the email. Send, send us an email. We are about uh, two miles from the house here. We're on the Clarion River now. Uh, Renee joined us on this one. Joe's here. And this is the old bridge that used to go across Mill Creek. No, no. Yeah, Mill Creek. Mill Creek. Yeah. Mill Creek Bridge. This is called the old Mill Creek Bridge. There's a boat launch on the other side. Uh, it's a pretty big tourist thing over on that side. You can see the Port of Johns and stuff. There's a nice parking area. But uh, there's this, good fishing back in that. Yeah, there's a nice inlet over there where you can fish. Uh, but we're right on the Clarion, and uh, we usually, we usually make a pit stop down here and uh, bring bring people down, and we run and jump off of this, which. Called the Tobeka, if I'm saying it right. When the Indians called it the Tobeka. We'll just okay. call it a fact. Yeah, it's a fun fact. Or a fact. Or a just fact. a fact. Or just a fact. Yeah, but uh, was the but you had to jump off. What do you think? About 15 feet? Oh, I'd say it's a good 15 feet. Um, I don't know if I can get down here a little bit. We run and jump off. Some people stand here and jump off. Hopefully, I don't drop the camera here. But, uh, those are, yeah, it's 15, 20 feet up. Look, there's somebody over there. Looking at us. Hi. We've done it before. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. What is your name? It's a beautiful spot. Uh, is that a public takeout on that side? 
Um, it's it is, but it's very short. It's it's not it's not a good launch like like over by you. No, no, it, it, it'd be tough to even turn around. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But, so, if you guys come to the rendezvous, maybe you'll jump. Maybe you guys can jump. It's a perfect little side by side ride, about five, ten minutes. But, uh, there's the river. Very beautiful down here.